Welcome to Avery Dennison Reflective Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to discuss proper trimming techniques for blanks laminated with retroreflective sheeting. Today we're going to walk through three different trimming techniques. Starting out, you've got the blank with the sheeting facing up, so trimming into the face. Two is trimming from underneath. And three is flipping your, your blank and trimming from underneath. One key feature you'll see with all three steps is we'll try and maintain pressure into the face of the material. That helps to prevent chipping up onto the sign face and leaves you with a much smoother edge. These are two different types of trimming blades that are commonly used in the industry. This is a standard utility knife. You see straight, straight edge, nothing all that special. This is something we're starting to recommend more and more. It's what's called a linoleum knife or a hook blade. The nice thing about it is as you trim from underneath, it allows you to keep constant pressure into the face so it prevents chipping. And the other nice thing is it's a much beefier blade, so it's much harder for it to get caught up in the burrs on the edge of the, the aluminum blanks themselves. In this example, we've got the blank facing up and we're cutting into the face. What the hook plate allows is nice clean force, so you're still getting down force. Even though you're cutting from the backside, you're cutting from underneath, so you still get a nice clean trim on the edge. In this example, we're cutting with the blank facing up again, but this time I'm using a more traditional flat blade. What you'll notice though is I have to torque my arm out at a 45 degree angle and twist it forward so the blade is actually cutting instead of tearing through. In this final example, we've flipped the blank so that the sheeting is actually facing down now. So this allows us to once again cut from underneath using a traditional straight blade, but it is very similar to what we did previously when we were cutting into the face. It's just a much more natural motion.